Okay, so today's topic's a new topic. Hopefully that you in eighth grade, they showed you a little bit of this. It's called distribution. It shows the multiplication operation. So all we're doing here is multiplying. In the next video, I'm gonna show the combination of multiplication and adding, subtracting, it's distribution and combining like terms. But let's get started here. Two problems. So I just said that we're gonna be multiplying. Of course, if you know your multiplication table, awesome use this time to relearn it if you forgot it or not just use the calculator but very simple i hope so i'm looking right here these two terms inside the parentheses i'm not going to touch it they're going to stay in there i'm going to take this outside you can say coefficient and i'm going to take it i'm going to multiply it one at a time check it out you could circle it it's in front of the parentheses I know I'm going to use this guy to multiply inside. I'm going to do it one at a time. Draw my beautiful arrows. What's four times two? Hopefully you know that. If you don't, that's okay. Use the calculator. Four times two gives me eight. Let's do the next one. Four times four S. Now remember, when I multiply these two, I know four times four, hopefully I know, or not if you use a calculator, four times four is 16. Do I carry that S with the 16? Yes, I must. It's part of that four, so it needs to be part of that 16. What do I put right here? Do I put a plus or minus sign? Did I have any negatives anywhere? No, I did not, so I know that this is a positive 16, and there's my answer. Pretty straightforward if you don't know what exactly I did rerun the video or email me check me out tell me what's up tell me what's wrong let's check the next one negative three negative five four who should I circle who's the person I need in order to start doing my multiplication yes yeah, it's negative three it's in front of the parentheses I'm going to use that person to multiply into each term Let's do it. Be careful, it's a negative three. Negative three times negative five x. How do I know it's a negative five? Because there's a negative sign right in front of it. Negative three times negative five. Hopefully you know negative times negative does give me a positive 15. Did I forget something? Yeah, I forgot the x. Don't forget to put the x right there. Okay, and we do our last part, negative three times positive four, negative times a positive. Hopefully you know, you should remember there's this, uh, I'll put it on the next video because I don't remember right now. But there's negative times positive is a negative 12. Is that my answer? Yes, it is. I'm going to put a little get more math on there for the practice time so you guys can just check out some easy stuff. But check the next video, it's going to be a little more complicated. Cool.